Okay, in this video I just want to do another example showing that a vector field on R3 is conservative using the curl. Um, and remember the curl of F is defined to be the cross product between this del operator and your vector field F. And in the first video we talked about this a little bit more, so I'm going to go through this one a little bit quicker. Um, so my question here is, suppose we have the vector field F that's represented by 2x plus yz xz and then yx, and we just want to know if it's conservative. So remember to use this result, um, the result from the first video. These function, the vector field had to be defined on all of R3, and the partial derivatives of each component had to be continuous. And again, notice these are very well-behaved functions, so you will have that happening. Um, remember to test if f is conservative, we just take the curl of the vector field, and if it's zero, then in fact it is conservative. So I went ahead and wrote down the, the top row. So in the bottom row, I'm just going to put the components. So 2x plus yz, the partial underneath uh, the dy, partial with respect to y, rather, we, we'd have xz, and then we'll stick yx. And again, now we're just computing uh, just a normal cross product. So, um, very visual here. Suppose those first two columns are gone then. It says what we're going to get then. It says we'll get the partial um, with respect to y of yx minus the partial with respect to z of xz. That's going to be our i component. Um, likewise, if we cover up the j column, um, we'll get minus the partial with respect to x of yx minus the partial with respect to z of the 2x plus yz. That'll be our j component, so writing a little big here. And then we'll get our k component. So um, for that part, we'll get the partial with respect to x of xz minus the partial with respect to y of the 2x plus yz um, times j. So again, if all of this works out to be 0, then we do in fact have a conservative vector field. So I think we can calculate this pretty quickly here. Um, let's see. So it says if we take the partial with respect to y of yx, that'll simply leave us with x. Then if we take the partial with respect to z of the xz, we'll again just get minus x, uh, then our i. Minus if we take the partial with respect to x of yx, that simply gives us y. Minus if we take the partial with respect to z of the 2x plus yz term, x is a constant, so that goes away. The derivative of the yz will simply be y. So we have j. And then last but not least, if we take the partial with respect to x of xz, that's just going to leave us with z. And then if we take the partial with respect to y of the 2x plus yz, that's going to leave us with just a z as well. So in fact, it does look like everything cancels out. We just get 0. So in fact, we can say yes this vector field is conservative. I think in the first video too I said the second one would most likely have one showing that it's not conservative, but I changed my mind because I want to use this one in a different video as well. Okay, so um, in any event, I probably will have another one at some point showing that a vector field is not conservative. Again, if any one of these, either the i, the j, uh, I did this in the last video as well, um, this should be k, should be k down here as well. Um, if any one of these i, j, and k components are not zero, um, if, if any part doesn't cancel out, then again, that simply means that it's not conservative. So, all right, um, hope this example helps. Sorry about my j's and k's there for a second. And um, if you have any questions or comments, again, as always, feel free to post them.